middle split here in the center does not dictate that I need to section it off in that way. Yeah? Right, so, it okay, okay, we're going to cut it so we can wear it back, wear it to the side, come to the side, split in the middle, and so on. So, a very versatile way. All right? Or I might even use a box section to be fair. I feel like what I probably want to use here is more like a little diamond section coming through the front. And that's going to expose everything on the contour and everything on the crown because that is the area that I want to focus on. That is the area, that round part that we talked about, that is the area that I want to build some weight on. Okay? That's, that's perfect, bro. Okay, and then face off then towards the left. Great, and tuck the chin down. Number one, going to come in. We can start roughly slightly higher than what we normally would. Taking that time to get that section on in. Fine side of the comb, little tap. All right, and what we want to do, guys, we want to look to reduce the weight in this area like so. Okay, there we are, section number one. All right, comb is going to come in underneath. We're going to look to take this area nice and tight because why what happens in this area here, guys? We're going to taper it. And what I'm going to do, or what's going to help me do that, is the use of my square cutting line. All right, on down there, there we go. What I'm going to do now, then I'm going to move my way on up to the contour. I'm going to bring this on right down, like so. Back to my previous section now. The angle of the cutting line changes. Look how we go from square to triangular. Because now I'm getting to the point, guys, where I'm coming onto the round part of the head. Therefore, what I want to do is supposed to remove some weight. I'm going to start to build some weight. So when we build weight, we over-direct. When we remove weight, we elevate. Okay, so we over-direct. The angle of the cutting line changes. There we are and it comes nice and triangular. Moving on to the flat part of the head now, guys. Not so I'm coming round, round and round we go. Where will we stop? Who knows? I'm gonna tilt the head off to the side. I'm gonna come in underneath that. I want to take everything pretty much finger tight here, guys, yeah? All right, there we go. So as it comes up. Okay. I'm going to move just underneath that then now. Take everything here once again also. Finger tight. Check the cut line. Okay, clean cutting line. Over direct down. Here we go. Coming onto the back. Once again, comb comes underneath. Notice so how the angle of the fingers are coming round. So input that round shape to ensure that I'm working on the base. Absolutely, we're coming diagonal, yeah? Because the diagonal section will give you a different starting point and a different end point. Think about it. I'm working this way. Have a cross check it. Go this way. It's going to settle that way, sorry. That's what I'm doing here, guys. Once again, cross checking my shape, taking everything out from the base where I cut it. Beautiful. Making sure that shape is there. Look at that. It works. It's fine. It's no problem. You can't do that. Or if you feel it's a little bit longer in place, you can of course come in and connect it in ever so slightly, there's no problem. Now let me show you how to do that. Come, come in. I'm going to etch in this line nice and soft. <coughs> now, a yep. little touch of connection, not much at all. There we go. Over directing the back will encourage the frontal part to get a little bit longer. The use of the finger razor will add a softer connection and also a more shattered, rugged, loose finish.
burst of skin. This is a really good way to kind of transition through the guards and, and create a much more uh, nicer contrast, much more of a smooth blend. So yeah guys, Max is a client of mine, a good client of mine. He was in with me two weeks ago and we discussed that we are on a bit of a grow out stage. So from a visual standpoint, we can see that the graduation is actually quite, quite nice at the minute. You know, that's two weeks of growth, but it is sitting quite nice. So there's probably not much to be done with the graduation. It's just more so above the graduation. We can all see where the layer meets the graduation. It's just a little bit too puffy here. You know, so that's the visual standpoint that I, we took from the constellation. Graduation is okay, he's happy with the length on top, he wants to grow it out still, but for me looking at it, this is just, it's a bit too heavy. So all I'm going to do guys, is I'm going to connect my layer to my graduation. You can kind of see if I take a deep section here, pull my layer down, we can see that there's a fair bit of come off there on the layer. Once we do that, it's going to slim this in a good bit for Max. We're gonna leave the length towards the frontal area. He's quite happy with this, but because it's quite dense, curly, dark hair, it, I think we, last time we cut it was square, and now that the grow out is happening, it's just, it's all a bit too much from. So we're just gonna round everything in, through the apex, through the coronal, and then through the contours then as well, just so it kind of gets a bit of longevity out of the haircut, takes the heaviness and the bulk away from the haircut, and just makes it overall a lot nicer, yeah? Back in sides then, we're going to do a mid skin fade. Before we were doing a taper fade on Max, but he enjoys the, the higher fade, gets longer out of it. You know, he's quite a cool, trendy guy, so we have to suit the, the fade and the hairstyle to the, to the client. Let's do the comb the test. Great. Yeah. Right. Again, I'm looking to fill the gap here, so I don't want to go too short towards the back. break my back leg and all this here mm -hmm. and this is going to work on the side of the head first.
because if the hair was dry bro when I applied the product into my hands the first part of the head that I touched is just going to the product whereas if it's wet so I'm transferring through the whole head of hair really quickly all the haircuts all the haircuts wet hair first now I don't drown the hair I just damp it down and I apply the product from roots to tip make sure every bit of hair gets the product 